tropical islands are gifts, but they are fragile. Now, take the island of Vieques, smashed by Hurricane Maria and barely recovering two years later. Here's the island of Curaçao, spared by hurricanes, but it has a desert climate while relying on the oil refinery business from downtrodden Venezuela. But there is a technology that will protect and make these islands thrive. It's called Gold Seal Industries, which we've been telling you about, that turns trash into energy and more. Our friend, actor and TV host John O'Hurley, is part of the Gold Seal team, and he sees Gold Seal as a savior for islands. I think the great users of our technology are going to be island. This is an island technology very applicable to that. If you think of all of the, the islands in the Caribbean, the Bahamas, all around the world, they have, they're impacted by their waste issues more immediately than a large landlocked uh, community might be, because there's always a way to, to dispose of waste. On an island, they can't. Um, they are stuck with the waste that they have on their island, and they've got to find, find a way to get rid of it, or it become, they become their waste, if you will. So you can imagine how this is, and also the byproducts, they need energy. Uh, they need fresh water, uh, so we produce wonderful, um, uh, it, it's a wonderful application as an island technology. Understanding gold seal for islands requires a change in thinking. This technology takes things that are considered negatives, that are considered liabilities, and turns them into positive assets. We've long thought of garbage as an encumbrance on the, the niceties of our life. Well we're now taking something like that and something that is considered an, a, a liability uh, not only experientially but also financially uh, and turning into positive things and we're uh, creating a better world by taking all of the garbage that we have and turning it into not only power but also getting rid of its absolute presence in there. The irony is islands are surrounded by water. The problem with water in our world right now is it's tough to find clean water. Um, and what we produce as a byproduct uh, it, it, it's, it's probably, this is the, the most wonderful side of this, is that we produce large amounts of medical grade distilled water. Clean, healthy water, while also using the ocean as an endless supply. We have a desalination uh, technology, which is also singular in the world, um, that rather than producing the salt slurry that the current state of the art is right now, that salt slurry is then thrown back into the ocean, which creates a kill zone and destroys everything around it. And they depend upon the dissolution of this over a period of time through the change of tides to, to um, say that it's okay. Well, it's not okay. We have a better technology for that. Um, we produce medical grade water out of this. Uh, current state of the art does not. They can take the salt out of the water, but they can't take all of the toxins out of the water. They can't take the antibiotics that are sitting in our water, all the sulfur, any of the, any of the other um, uh, chemicals that are still in the water. So they just go back in and that we're just drinking the same old water. It just doesn't have salt in it. Um, our technology is different. So that we now take that, that salt slurry and it's now a rock, uh, a hard rock uh, salt that is is saleable as everything is. It's, it's a wonderful saleable commodity. But we end up producing the medical grade water and we have ways of double hydrogenating that. So that's a very similar water that the Olympic athletes were drinking, that, that double hydrogen water. Um, we can do anything we want with the water. We can, um, but it, we produce large amounts of it. So it's, uh, it's an enormous plus to our system. But there is also the ability to grow all kinds of food Gold Seal owns Red Barn Dot Farm, which uses the same technology but creates endless amounts of food. Here's Gold Seal founder Kim Kirkendall. In other words, we grow crops, uh, we can uh, grow fish, we can also grow livestock, um, chickens, hogs, um, different animals uh, that become food product. Um, and it's all done indoors with no emissions and no pollution. We produce all of our own energy. So there is nothing uh, that is uh, uh, taken from the grid or the environment itself. Uh, it allows us to produce a variety of different types of fruit, vegetables, and food uh, product. Food costs are high on many islands that have to ship it in from the mainland. But think about islands like Curaçao. With Red Barn, the arid climate is no longer a factor to food production. 
It also um, runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week without any seasons. In other words, I can grow strawberries every hour of every day of every year. Um, so you have fresh, organic, true organic um, strawberries if you like. So I could grow strawberries in Minnesota? Any place in the world. So it works in, in Antarctica, it would work out in the middle of the, the, the Mojave Desert, um, anywhere in the world. Which takes us back to Vieques, or even Puerto Rico. If those islands had gold seal, they would be self-sufficient when disaster hits. They could clean up their debris, create endless amounts of energy, while being able to feed themselves quickly. Yes, we do seem to talk about this technology quite a bit, but we do think it will change the world, and we do think it's something you should take a look at. That's right, and if you know of a government or a major company that might be interested in this, here's the email, contact us and let us know.